Welcome back to a new episode about how you could use PHP in HTML. And for the people that haven't worked with HTML before, I will be going through some HTML code and I will be explaining to you what they mean. So HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language and it is a standard markup language for web pages. And what we eventually want to do is to create a website and add PHP code inside of it. So now that we've created our index.php, and if you have watched the previous episode, I have told you that you had to install an extension that will make your life a lot easier. So let's remove our welcome to my course about PHP text. And what we need to do is type doc and hit tab. Now you can see that your HTML code is generated. And for the people that don't know HTML, let me go quickly through it so you know what this actually means. So let me zoom in a little bit. So the HTML element is the root element of an HTML page. All your content needs to be in between your HTML opening tag and closing tag. And you can see that the closing tags all have a backslash right in front of it. So we have a meta and a meta element contains meta information about the document. So whatever is in the head won't be visible for the user. The title element specifies a title for the document. So this will appear instead of localhost slash php underscore course. We have a closing head tag. We have an opening body element. And everything inside our body tags are actually visible for the user. What we need to do is to work in our body tags. And if you want to use PHP code, you need to create an opening and closing PHP tag. And the way we write those is by writing down a less than sign, followed by a question mark, and PHP. And in order to close the PHP tags, we need to write down a question mark and a greater than sign. And like I said, in order for your PHP code to work, so you need more than only the .php extension, but you always need to write down PHP tags. Thank you for watching this episode. And in the next episode, I want to show you how you could actually print something on the screen with PHP code. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.